Erica, we often hear the term new normal post pandemic, but you like to say the better normal. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Well, in the last few years, we've seen so much disruption, but also so much innovation in how we work and connect. For two years, we've built new habits and rituals. And for many of us, some of us returning back to the office, some of us adapting to how we lead in a hybrid context or continuing to work remotely, we can't just keep adapting. This is a moment to reimagine how we connect, to not revert back to pre-pandemic ways of operating, but to ask ourselves, what does great leadership, what does great connection, what does great collaboration look like moving forward? I know one leader who used to run traditional meetings in the office. Now, he always has a clear agenda. He sends two days before the meeting. And at the beginning of the meeting, he runs it in a hybrid format. He has everyone share their answers to those questions in the chat tool first, and then calls on those with the most diverse or unique ideas. He told me he has heard more from his introverts and junior colleagues using this approach than he had ever heard from them in the pre-pandemic office. I know another leader that used to have meetings in the office doing big presentations. Now she records that presentation, has her whole team watch it one week before the meeting. And then the live meeting is an interactive group discussion, maximizing in-person connection. So this is our greatest moment to reimagine better rituals moving forward. Well, that, those are some excellent examples. So how important is it that we are able to make those connections digitally? Yeah, well, we all know research shows up to 70% of our communication is our body language, pacing, pauses, gestures, tone. But I would argue body language isn't disappeared today, it is transformed. We now infuse what I call digital body language into all of our cues and signals of what is replaced, the handshake, the head nod, the lean in. Simple things like remembering to value others visibly is no longer a head nod. It's valuing others' time in inboxes, starting every meeting by clarifying what success looks like, how to acknowledge differences such as introverts to extroverts. It's communicating carefully, knowing that listening today is reading emails carefully. Empathy today is writing clearly. We don't just talk the talk. We don't just walk the talk. We write the talk. And in many ways, virtual leadership, I would call it 21st century leadership, where we must be able to collaborate with those in the room and those no matter the distance, requires us to have regular rituals for team spirit, whether it's a water cooler discussion in a virtual meeting, three questions we ask colleagues in every hybrid call. We need rituals for better meetings, thoughtfulness, intention, clear agendas, a quick note taker at the end. We also need clear rituals for collaboration tools, which tools we use, when and what ways to avoid what I would call collaboration overload. And last but not least, we must create regular norms around digital communication. I actually know one team that created norms where if you are sending an email, make sure the subject line answers what I need from you. Today, clarity is empathy. Okay, Erica, well, that was an excellent sneak peek. I can't wait to hear your keynote on April 29th. So see you soon and thank you so much. Thank you so much.